G'day, I'm Mark Bailey from JS. I'm just making this little video to show some of the potential issues that we get with Nippon Denso alternators or Nippon Denso style alternators. Uh, when customers ring us, they fitted a new alternator and they say it's either still not charging or the warning light's on and it is charging. So a couple of the common issues that we get. I've just explained the four connections here. The first one that we're not worrying about here is this black wire. That's an output to the ECU in the vehicle which tells the car how hard the alternator's working. The red wire is a warning light circuit, so if we disconnect the plug, the warning light goes out, that's that red wire. The white wire is an ignition feed to it, which was commonly from either the reverse light circuit or um, uh, gauges, um, instrument cluster, for example. If I disconnect that one, again, the warning light goes out, so that's ignition. And the fourth wire is a battery sense wire, which tells the alternator what voltage is at the battery. So to do that, it's connected directly to the positive battery terminal. That uh, is a bit of a potential issue because they quite commonly get left off or they corrode away. It's a very small wire at the battery. If I start the test bench, run the alternator up, our warning light goes out, it's all charging quite okay. I'll put a little bit of load on there. You can see that the alternator will ramp up to around about 85 amps. That's all good. If I disconnect the ignition supply, this white wire, it stops charging altogether, so the alternator just drops out. So again, if the ignition fuse is blown, we have no charge. I'll reconnect that, away we go again. And then finally, if I disconnect this battery sense wire, you'll see it continue to charge. Hardly makes any difference to the charge rate at all, but what happens is the warning light comes on to tell the driver that it's lost that battery supply. Reconnect it, and away the alternator goes again. So that's a couple of the common things that we get. Uh, our customers fit a new alternator, uh, they ring us up and they say, hey, it's charging, but we've got a, a warning light on. What could be possibly wrong? Well, it's not an alternator issue. It depends on that ignition feed and that battery supply. Okay, thanks for watching, hope that helps.